All right, girls, let's sneak in one final question from Valerie. Hey, Jesse. Hey, Val. As I get older, I feel like I need to focus a little bit more on cardio workouts like sprints and high intensity interval training. That's hit. But I love to lift weights so much that I can lift for two hours sometimes. Is this too much lifting? I always want to get enough in and make sure that every second counts so I feel like one hour isn't enough. I want to look like you, so how many hours do you lift a day? I do not gain muscle easily, so it's very frustrating. Thank you for taking the time out for our questions. You're awesome. You're awesome. First of all, you don't need to focus on HIT or focus on weight training. I just really would like to see you have a nice and balanced workout split. Five to six days of lifting, plus about two sessions of HIT each week. If your goal is to burn more fat, you can add in a little bit more hit here and there depending on your goal. Here's the deal on the length of your lifting sessions. It truly does not matter how long you stay in the gym. It's all about the intensity during that session. For example, I trained glutes this week and I only had 30 minutes before I had to get home to Samantha before she woke up. I am so sore from that 30 minutes of glute training that I can't even sit down right now. I'm literally standing <laughs> because I can't sit. <laughs> but seriously, I can't sit. I did four glute exercises and I did four sets of 12 reps for each one of those four exercises. I moved really quickly from exercise to exercise and I had really short rest periods so I could just get in and get out. I could have had the exact same results, been just as sore as if I would have taken my sweet time during that whole entire workout, if I would have taken an hour and 15 minutes, I would have done the exact same thing and would have been just as sore today and would have had just as much damage done to the muscle, but I got it done a really short amount of time and it was just as effective. I love that and you can do it too. So here's the more technical answer to your question to help you understand why more is it necessarily more when it comes to weight training. Your body releases the cortisol hormone while you tear up your muscles during weight training. Cortisol is your stress hormone and that is a catabolic hormone, meaning it tears down and breaks down tissue and muscle. So keeping your strength training sessions right around 60 minutes, whether it's you know, 75 minutes or 45 minutes, just right around that 60 minute mark, you'll minimize and control the release of all of that stress that's going to destroy all the muscle that you love building so much. So there's my two cents. Thanks so much, girls. I hope you're having an awesome week and I'll talk to you next week. See ya.